what's up beautiful people how are you all doing i hope you're having an amazing day today i want to share with you my morning routine and while i share with you um, what i do in the morning to ensure that i have a successful day we are going to be creating what i call a fit mat So May is Mental Health Awareness Month and the way that I am celebrating it is just doing mindset work, all right? So a better mindset helps you um, act better and you know that it is from your actions that determine what you become in life, what you were able to achieve and all what not. So that's why I'm dedicating May to talk about mindset practices and your morning routine is everything. Your morning routine is everything. This is saying that how the day starts, the day ends. So when you own your morning, you elevate your life. How does your morning routine look like? All right, so that's what we're gonna be talking about in, in today's video. Real quick, subscribe if you have not yet done so, and also turn on notifications. That way you don't miss out on anything. Okay, so we're gonna be creating that fit fabric mat. I use my yoga mat here, or any exercise mat, and then some permanent markers. I am not an artist, but this fit mat, I just put my exercises on the mat, exercises that I like for a particular type of workout. Today we're going to be doing cardio. I'll put my cardio exercises here. That way, when I'm walking out, I don't have to go look it up somewhere. I have my exercise with me on my mat. How cool is that? So yeah, it's something I've been doing. And every time I find a new set of exercises that I like, I put it on a new mat. Smart, isn't it? I know. All right, so we're gonna create that while I share with you my morning routine. I will share with you the end product of that fit mat all right but um yeah mondays through fridays i am out of bed by 5 a.m most days of the week that's mondays through friday i have my alarm set for 5 a.m but i usually get up before 5 i make sure that by 5 a.m i am out of bed i jump out go brush use the restrooms and then go brew myself a cup of coffee I brew myself a cup of coffee, grab my notebook or my journal and my pen and a candle with essential oils and go sit in a corner for my quiet time. Quiet time, I thank the universe, God, Mama Earth for waking me up and then I ask for guidance. So a morning prayer or a meditation, but that quiet time to just realize that I'm still here. Then I grab my journal and then I script my day. Remember I shared that you should script your day in last week's video where I just write down um, how I intend to feel during the day and um, how I intend to feel and what I want to accomplish, right? I write down my to-do list and prioritize because I'm programming myself, my subconscious that way. So all of this takes like, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes or so, and then it's time to go and exercise. I like to sweat in the morning science shows that when you exercise when you sweat in the morning it helps you with focus it helps control your mood so much that exercise does for you especially when you do it in the morning so i like to exercise in the morning so i'll go do a 30 45 minutes or one hour hit workout which is high intensity interval training or i would run or i would do a strength workout in the morning By 
the time I'm done with my exercise, it's 6.30 in the morning, okay? 6.30, I get myself back to the kitchen and then I make breakfast for the hobby. It could be a smoothie or an omelette, whatever. He walks outside of the house, so I set him up for the day and then I go on that trip to do. Trip to do is my morning walk and I do it for several reasons. Number one, movement. Two, to get the sunlight on my skin three breathe fresh air and four it is time for me to um, get my inspiration for the day or, or get something instructional into my mind what do i mean by this inspiration i would either listen to a podcast or youtube video anything to inspire motivate me because you know this motivation thing you need to work on it every day I, what you put into your mind helps a lot so i would listen to a podcast or an audio book all right or something instructional i use this hour on my trip to do to um to learn anything these days you can learn anything from from social media not social media from from books audible um from youtube videos i learn whatever i want to learn okay on this morning walk and then I also spend that time to connect with other people. I can call, I can chat on WhatsApp, I can share on my social media platforms, whatever that helps me just connect with other people. I do that on that morning walk as well, or a combination of all three, you know, inspiration, instructional and connection. And then I get back home. By the time I get back home, I have walked for about an hour or so and then I shower and start my regular day job from 8 o'clock. That's a rundown of my morning routine. It is important that you have a morning routine. When you take care of the front end of your day, the rest of the day pretty much sorts itself out. It is so important. I hope you found something um, within what I shared my routine that you can take and implement. I also want to hear from you how your day begins. Okay, that, you know, couple of hours before you actually have to go to school or have to go to work. How do you spend that day, that, that period of time? It is so, so important. Um, James Clear says in the book Atomic Habits that... We don't rise to the level of our goals, we fall to the level of our systems. I think that's a quote. So it's all about systems. A morning routine is your system, okay? So that system is going to determine how productive you are, how fulfilled you feel, and you know, if you're making progress towards your goals. Now, I'll share with you how that little project we started indoors, the fit map ended, but give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you have not yet done so and then share the video then let's chat in the comment section below thank you so much for your time i'm going to get out of this wall set now but remember to love and care for the one and only you it is the only place you ever have to live in until next time bye coming out of my wall sit here's my fit mat Behind the back jacks, jump rope, high knees, butt kicks, fast feet, running man skiers, circle runs, mountain climbers, crab kicks, plank burpees, back jacks, punch combo, chair hops, plank jacks, we have plank jacks twice, no, zigzag jumps, hop forward, suicides, speed back, river dance, lateral knee thrusters, squat thrusters, crossover jacks, forward knee thrusters, left and right, alternating push kicks, single leg, cross hops, and then cool down stretches.